Hi, this is how you can uh, book for the e-passport in Zimbabwe. So you visit the website expresssender.com. Um, make sure when you visit the website, you type in the correct um, URL and um, you make sure that there is a lock on your site as um, hackers or other people will try to uh, steal your identity. All right, so after you, um, you will click expresssender.zw.com, it will take you to a page like this one. Then um, the website is very easy to use and it has a few tabs. So uh, this is the website, uh, that's the about us, the contact details and the review and uh, that's the location, as simple as it is. All right, so you come and click uh, book now, then it will show you a calendar like this one. So from the calendar here, depending on when will you access the website, it will show you a month, usually a month um, from the days that may be available, from the days with um, available slots. But here yeah, we're on the 6th of April and I'm recording this video in March of 2022. But on the 6th here, um, there are no more slots available. So they are saying, please try another day. I come on the 7th, no more slots on the 8th, uh, no more slots on the 9th. There are no more slots. Let's try the 11th because Sunday they'll be closed. No more slots. Let's come on the 12th, there are no more slots. On the 13th, uh, this is too late for me. Let me try on the 14th. All right, so on the 14th, as you can see with these uh, green icons, there's 20 past 7, 20 to 8, and later at 20 minutes to 11 a.m. So the reason for the, for the 20 minutes difference is um, someone will start at 20 past 7 a.m and the process will take 20 minutes. So they will finish at um, 7.40. Someone, if someone starts at 7.40 a.m., then they'll finish at 8 a.m. Someone starts at 8, they finish at 8.20, going on and on and on. So you book the times that you want to apply. So let's say I want to um, start at 7.20 a.m. I come and click 7.20. Then here it says, enter your details. Let me say I want to enter my details here. So here you enter your name as it is and your email address, then your phone number. All right, since I have uh, registered already, I'm just doing this video as, um, as a guide to others who want to apply. So here you enter your name here. So let's say your full name here. Please enter your name as it is. All right, if you have any initials, enter it as it is. So here, let's say I want to um, enter my email address. Right. Then here you enter your phone number as it is. All right, um, that's your phone number. All right, then you click confirm booking. All right, once you click confirm booking, here you see it shows you your passport application, the date that's on the 14th of April, and it's at 20 past 7 a.m., and it ends at um. 20 minutes to 7. All right. So um, it has just refreshed, but here I can come and check on my bookings. And now it shows my upcoming bookings where I, I can see my time, uh, the provider, and make sure you also record your um, your booking code. And as you can see here, uh, my booking has been confirmed. And um, on all bookings, you see the same details as well. All right, so after um, um, my bookings, what you must also know is um, the fee. This is an express passport that you can get in 48 hours. Uh, you'll be ready to collect it in two days. So the applicant application fee is $20 and um, the express passport costs $200. So you must have $220 um, for each individual. All right, so um, once you fill in the details, you receive an email. Um, confirming your details. Um, make sure you also check your spam folder or any other folder so that you can um, see an email like this one that I received from Express um, Booking. And um, the email here, you can see your, um, your event or you can even cancel the appointment by just pressing this link. All right, so if you can't uh, hit the link, you can just copy it 
and enter it to a different um, address. All right. Um, so here I can come to uh, my bookings. Then here I can even add my booking to a calendar or I can reschedule or I can book more. Let's say you're booking from, um, as a family or so. You can come and click um, book more here or you can uh, cancel the booking at any time that you may want. All right. Um, so this is um, how you can book online and um, um, some some key information that you may need to know. Um, I've stated about the application fee. That's $220, $20 processing fee and $200 for the express passport. Then um, maybe the requirements for um, the requirements for new applicants. You need um, your ID, your birth certificate. Please note that um, the passport size photos are taken while you are processing your passport. There is no need to come with um, passport size photos taken already. And also note that any birth certificate, even the printed one or that one that is uh, written using a pen, they do work. For those who just want to reapply, you just bring your old or your expiring passport plus the application fee. Then um, please take note that the new passport um, uh, application address is as follows, um, which is, um, um, sorry, uh, the new passport address is this one, um, which is, um, Makombe New Complex, Corner Leopold Takawira, um, and Yebet Chitepo. As compared to Corner um, Yebet Chitepo and, and um, that's Corner Yebet Chitepo and, um, and Harare Street. And also take note of the opening hours here. It's now from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. from um, Monday through to Friday. And on Saturday, they open at 8 to um, 3 p.m. And you can make use of um, these contact details. That's the phone number and the email address. And this is the website that I'm, I'm, I am on. Um, well, um, thanks so much for um, watching this video. And um, I hope you also like how the simple, how simple is it to use this website. All right, so maybe you, 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 you are worried uh, what to expect next from me. Uh, next, I want to uh, show you how you can register a Kanban in Zimbabwe from wherever you are. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up so that it can be recommended to other users by YouTube. Yeah, Remember to share it with your friends in the diaspora, with your friends wherever they are in Zimbabwe so they can book um, for passports. And um, please remember that only booking is done online at the time of recording this video, but the um, application is done in person at New Makombe Complex, that's Leopold Takaura, Harare, Zimbabwe. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please share it with friends and family, and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. It's goodbye for now.